we get into uh, actual practical detail, hindi lang yung mga uh, vague ideas of what can be done, uh, but really to dig down and to see what can be done, what needs to be done para mag-succeed itong mga program na ito, what do we have to do in the Philippines, what can we uh, expect uh, from our partners around the world. So that's basically it, um, uh, except for <laughs> Uh, some of, I think the yung inaantay nyo talaga yung mga appointment yes. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, na ano tayo ni, ano, na on, the, our, our, our friend, uh, the incoming DOJ secretary has already announced it himself. So, sa sigundahan ko na lang siya, that uh, Boying Remulia, I have asked him to uh, join the government uh, as a, uh, um, uh, DOJ, the Secretary of the Department of Justice. Uh, I think he'll be very good. He has, uh, as you know, he has a, a good, uh, a great many years of experience in government, number one. And he's, uh, he's a, what mo many people do not know is that he's actually a very, very good lawyer. Uh, and so I think he will fit uh, very nicely into the, uh, into the DOJ. Uh, I guess we can talk about our last meeting already. Uh, I had over lunch uh, the former Secretary Laguesma of Dole uh, and Toots Ople um, to talk about the labor segment, both Dole and the new Department of Migrant Workers. Uh, so uh, our new uh, uh, my, nominee, my nominee for Dole is going to be um, is going to be the former secretary, former secretary Laguesma, uh, to return, and we've asked uh, help from Toots Ople to uh, organize already, start organize already uh, the Department of Migrant Workers, so that when the time comes that we are mandated to start operations, uh, we are ready. Hindi na tayo mag adjust hindi na tayo magpapalit. Kaya ang naging uh, concern ko is eh, mahirap naman kung magbabago tayo two years from now, babaguhin natin dahil magkakaroon ng migrant worker, eh, Department of Migrant Workers. Ay, kung ititigil pa natin ang services, bago tayo nag-organize. So sabi ko, para hindi matigil ang functions, uh, ay ngayon pa lang, umpisahan natin, Umpisahan na natin pag-isipin, pag-isipan kung ano ang gagawin natin para pagdating ng panahon ay mabilis na. The Department of Migrant Workers from the day one uh, will immediately be uh, 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 operational and performing its function. Uh, that, that's really my general policy sa so lahat na ito uh, is to fix policy as early as now. Um, uh, so that when the time comes that we are giving now our nominations to the CA ay mabilis na ang magiging proseso at kahit na hindi pa ma-confirm yung mga iba hindi pa natapos ang confirmation process ng mga iba ay uh, ang mangyayari ay, 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 ay ma marami na tayong uh, na naintindihan na ng mga tao natin, the cabinet, the secretaries, and uh, the rest of government, kung ano yung kailangan gawin, what is expected, what the timetable uh, has to be, uh, so that we can immediately start work uh, as soon as, uh, as, soon as uh, the, term, the, 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 the term of the next administration began, begins. I have also tapped an old friend uh, uh, who also was uh, formerly in this position, Arce Balisakan, who was our former NEDA, and uh, I've asked him to return to NEDA. Uh, I've worked with him extensively in the time that I was governor. Uh, we have very similar thinking in, uh, in that regard. I know he's very competent. I know his, uh, uh, his policies are policies that uh, uh, will be to the betterment of our country and for employment, uh, for the development of the economy. Uh, Nag-uusap kami ng uh, ilang oras at uh, mukha namang tumutugma ang aming pag-iisip 
uh, tungkol sa approach natin dito sa mga darating na ilang taon when it comes to the economic managers. I know that uh, syempre ang magiging ang magiging uh, ang punot dulo talaga ng susunod na administrasyon is the economy. Kaya alam ko yung inaabangan na dagan ninyo. Uh, allow me in maybe a few more days uh, for me to be able to announce formally who will be part of the, well, we, the, the labor sector is going to be very much part of any redevelopment and recovery of the economy. Uh, so that's part of it, NEDA, obviously. Uh, I've, the, in, sa NEDA, having come from governor, eh, sabi ko dapat ibalik natin yung, tunay, yung primary function ng NEDA. Uh, NEDA, you have to remember, is the National Economic Development Authority. And the process has always been that the provincial development councils will forward their recommendations to the, to the regional development council, which will forward their recommendations to NEDA. Hindi na nasunod yun. Kailangan natin maibalik because, again, being a proponent of local government, we need to hear from local governments so that we are our, what we do at the national level is relevant to the needs uh, and the concerns of local government. Um, uh, so that's it for now. I think that uh, uh, I think that that's uh, that that's enough to be, to be getting on with. We're working very hard on the other departments, and and dahan dahan naman, uh, dahan dahan naman. We are we are beginning to fill the positions. I still have to talk to them. Uh, some of our proposed nominees, and we have to understand that nagkakasundo kami sa polisya. Kasi kung hindi naman sila mag-agree, eh, mahirap naman masyado yun. Uh, so we will, we, will, uh, we will continue to discuss with them. And should they agree, uh, umpisahan na namin ang mga planning para, para diyan. So, um, I want it, technically talaga, uh, dapat after proclamation itong mga announcement na ito, at, uh, pero uh, I'm sure, I know na maraming maraming nag uh, hindi na makapagantay dahil nga napaka importante ito mga appointment na ito but allow me uh, the luxury of a few more days uh, and uh, we will be able to announce more at the moment syempre nakaabang kami sa canvassing uh, my best information is that uh, uh, the canvassing will, will proceed rapidly and uh, I told the uh, um, I told the speaker and uh, the leadership of uh, the House and of the Senate that I'm on call. Kung matapos sila, the, kahit anong oras, kahit hating gabi, I'll be happy to go there to be, to be proclaimed. Uh, so that's the, that's what we are uh, busy with now. Uh, and uh, that also explains to you bakit ako naka-Amerikana uh, dahil nga uh, mga tarap ko ang basa rin na ibang, na ibang look namin dito sa headquarters at uh, uh, hindi na kami nangangampanya at uh, we are now back in the office, uh, working in the office. So uh, I'll, I'll leave that with you for now. Uh, at, uh, well, I'll take a few. Uh, hindi ka eh, because nga na, na may hospital eh. eh ginagamit pa eh. hindi naman natin pwedeng ilipat yun eh. hindi, hindi, kailangan pa dun eh. no I, I don't think there's any need uh, to, to go to the yun lang we're now looking for an alternative uh, we so out na po yung I think for now, unless something will change, uh, change uh, radically, uh, we we cannot use Kirina Grandstand. I would have, mas maganda para sa akin, gusto ko doon, dahil yan ang tradisyon eh. Pero, eh, marami talaga yung pinilitan yung pandemic, wala tayong magagawa. Under your administration, uh, will the Philippines participate in the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework? Yes, we talked about that. Uh, Yes, we are very much involved. We are very much involved, and we are considered very much an important member of that uh, uh, aggregation. Uh, so, the some of the elements of the Indo-Pacific Regional 
uh, treaty are going. Uh, we spoke about with the different uh, with the different ambassadors, uh, most specifically with the American charge. So yes, we will be involved in that. Well, the House Majority Leader has said that. Um, I'm sorry. House Majority Leader Lombardis has said that. Okay, um, I think, I'm sorry. I'm really. The House Majority Leader Lombardis has said that um, as the biggest measure, it's among your top priority legislation. Yeah. Regarding the Congress, sir. Sir, maybe, you know, sir, if you think that the government still has funds to, to fund uh, another stimulus uh, package, and then, sir, uh, given that the 90% of the 2022 budget is ready to disperse the participation? Yes, uh, there, there, are slight, this, there are slight differences because although it has been dispersed, uh, uh, not all of it has been spent. So, meron pa tayong breathing room, pero konti na lang. Uh, and so, that's why we will have to look. Uh, to the new budget, the budget for 2023, which is presently being written, uh, we have to look at, at that to um, to find sufficient funds for the things that we want to do. Because uh, basically, uh, move some public expenditure away from non-investment expenditures to more investment-led uh, uh, expenditures. Uh, again, to revitalize, to really retool the economy. So you're also open to helping selling government assets which is on the EIA and a portion of the Middle Bay as proposed by Congressman Sosa to pay for the country's debt. I'm always very wary of selling government assets. So as a matter of principle, I'd rather not. Uh, so, yes. So just a follow-up, how do you think the Philippines will benefit from the end of the economic framework? Well, it's going to be because now, as I said, the survival and the stability of the global economy or even just the regional economy is going to depend on the partnerships we make with other countries. And that's why that's going to be very important. We have to open as much of the economy as we can to trade. And that's where these uh, kind of treaties come in. Okay, thank you.